<laughs> so good. Um, all right. So, anyways, uh, unpopular opinions. Yeah. Fucking do it. We talked about it already in the podcast. Grunge music. That's just mumble rap of the '90s. What's Bro. up? Smells like Teen Spirit, Nirvana, right? Yeah. Kurt Cobain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan. I'm just saying <laughs> that song. You write down all the lyrics. Go ahead, write them down without without knowing. What okay, they okay. Are. There, you I, can. I, I will say this. Okay, there are like coherent. That's an easy one. There are coherent grunge songs. I'm not even gonna say. I'm yeah, not sure. Even, I'm not gonna lie. Totally. There are coherent grunge songs. I was talking about. I'm not even talking about grunge. I'm talking about like even like other stuff. Eddie Vedder says it's fine. Just that second verse in Yellow Lead Better is like, yeah. what the fuck is going he's not on? Really saying and anything. Hundred percent. Don't tell me you know what he's saying. I'm trying to think of another guy. Sometimes Bob Dylan. It depends on what he like. Um, Billy Corgan from a uh, uh, Smashing Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Yeah. Here's what I'll say: is that there that at least in those genres, <laughs> who he's alluded to was the fact that there's some songs or most of the songs where you can pick out the words in, and also even in most of the songs that where you can't pick the words out, there's at least a verse or a chorus where you can. I don't know what the fuck is being said in mumble rap. Just, just give me one word. You know, okay, like all right, all right, now, now this is my, this it's is my turn. To like, shout, okay, okay, give okay. me one word. So you got, you got, okay, so you got like Young Thug, Young Thug. Like I remember the the, the old meme was what, like when he would be, I'm a stoner, I'm a stoner, I'm a stoner. That's all you knew, right? Yeah. And that's true. And like, there's a song I really love by Young Thug, Young Thug called Family Don't Matter. I know about like I want to say fifty five percent of those lyrics. That's those are good numbers. That's that decent genre. numbers for yeah. Thug, right? Yeah. Okay. When you talk about the lingo, like, you get what some of the stuff they're saying is, right? So, like, they knew, like, when Slime Language came out, first of all, I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to this record. And I loved Slime it. Slime Language. Slime Language? Y'all got to listen to it. Okay. Um, I loved it. It's got that song Ski on it. Ski. No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite, but, you know. Big fan. A for effort. Big fan. A, A for effort. A for effort. My dad said this shit too. And some people will be like, I don't agree, but kind of get what he's saying where he's like, look, man, there's bar rappers, rappers that rap straight bars, right? And there's rappers that do the mumble rap. And sometimes like that mumble rap, if you if you if you doing that shit with feeling, I feel that, you know, I feel that shit to my soul more than fucking bars sometimes. And again, I see look, I see No, looks. no, no. I just that's my that's my mumble rap name. Meaningful mumbles. No, I, I see I see. <laughs> I see the looks. I see what y'all are thinking, but it's like again, it it's all about It's subjective, I guess. It, it, it. it is subjective, but yeah. it's like again, I could show you some songs that are quote unquote mumble rap that bang. And the honest truth is sometimes we don't know what people are saying in songs at times. That doesn't mean it's not good. Like the production on some of like I said, slime language, I love the record. I'm not so let me just let me just clarify. I am in no means talking about the production and what the producers do. No, 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 they, no, no. I know they that. Crush what they do. No, no, no. I mean, as far I'm saying everything as a whole. Like I am a young thug fan. Mm -hmm. You know, I do like young thug. I, I've had this kind it's it's like what I was talking about earlier with like different groups, right? Because yeah. you can't explain some things to jazz musicians, or you can't explain mm -hmm. some things to rock musicians, and you can't explain some things to hip hop guys, right? Or guys that like rap or whatever. But it's like, again, it's a cultural thing. And if like you're not down with the lingo, if you're not down with what they're talking about, if you're not down with the image, if you're not even from where they're from, then you kind of do miss it. Totally. Right? I, yeah, I, I understand Cause, that. Because the vibe of the songs are hard. So they're like just they're, speaking a different language then. I just have to just uh, I yield yeah. to that. Colloquial, right. colloquialism, it, 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 if you will. It's, it's one th well, it's one thing, you know, right. if, if we're using existing words or concepts to describe a completely different concept, right? Mm -hmm. That's one thing, right? But I don't, like, their mouths are, are forming different shapes and, like, different words that don't exist in the language. Well, okay, I'll say, I'll say this. Have you ever listened to a Young Thug song before? Uh, it's quite possible. I don't know most of the artists in that genre by name, okay. but I'm sure that I have. The hub for this is Atlanta. Yeah. People from Atlanta talk like that. Yeah, Believe totally. it or not. No, I, 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 you know, I get all that stuff. Th there was a video, like, I can't understand nothing this chick is saying, right? And we're like... <laughs> I, everybody's like, we, some people are like, we understand what she was saying perfectly. Because she was like, yeah, no, I was trying to take y'all to the mall, do whatever, and trying, you know, trying to put y'all into the drip, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. And then they was like, I don't know what she said. I was like, I, I got it perfectly. Yeah. I'm not even from Atlanta. Yeah. But it's just like the lingo where it's like, what, what it comes across to your ear is not doing that, but it's like they're fully forming everything. It's like them going, 
oh, da 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 da. All right, you know, da da da. And it's it's like that. It's like a a way of talking to where it's like, okay, this and, and it's for everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? I understand. So like, and it's not all lingo. They'll say stuff you perfect English, like, yeah, got that. And then they go back to saying how they talk. American cheese is hot garbage. Uh, American cheese has its place for sure. No, it doesn't. It, but it, yeah, it you belongs. Can't, you nowhere. can't put it nowhere on a grilled cheese sandwich. No, here, here's the no, thing. Use no. good cheese on a grilled cheese. Are you fucking kidding? Just me? Just literally ahead. anything. A here's the thing. I, I, I'm okay. Like that's Amer- my unpopular opinion. By American the way. cheese is straight. It's Swiss yeah. that I can't get into. Swiss is great too. You know what? The thing, at least Swiss cheese is like a cheese. I don't know what American American cheese is like. Plastic that's just painted yellow. These colors and they don't try run, and bro. sell you as cheese. That's America. American cheese is an it's, abomination it's to cheese. American cheese, you think so? Uh, I mean, it's it's not. Food. It's not great. It's, it's not, not great. It's not sure. food. <laughs> it's not food. It's not food. It 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 tastes like if you just took a crayon <laughs> and then a like what? coated it. I know, right? He says it's so a weird. Crayon. A what? He, sa- he says okay. it like. How do you like, say crayon? Crayon. Crayon or crayon? Oh, crayon. You guys are fucking crazy. Yeah, what we're the, the fuck? Weirdos. No. Cran. Wait, wait, wait. We just did. We not have a discussion about. We were talking about key signatures like, oh, white. Did you yeah. say crayon? Crayon. Yeah. Crayon. Crayon. How do you say it, Chelsea? Crayon. That's so weird. Must be a South what? Florida thing. It's a North Cuban thing. It's a North Cuban thing. Yeah. I've never heard of. I've never heard of Cubano go crayon. Because uh, they don't even know how to say. They it. don't know how to say it. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My own. What's your unpopular opinion? Unpopular. Oh shit. I had one, but I don't want to offend you, so I don't want to say No, it. offend me. I don't get offended, bro. I don't like the fact. There you go. Here we go. You said well, fact. You already offended me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the fact that you can't say openly that you don't like the Beatles without somebody coming in, like, trying to, like, you know, in, a, in like... Is that the one thing else. that might offend them? That's what I'm saying. See, that's what I'm saying. So let me pick another one. Let's... No, that's a good one. Uh, that's, that's fair. The problem like, is I think that people say that they, say that they don't like to, and I'm not saying this is you because you're clearly well-educated on music. So I believe that you've probably heard a lot of shit and it's just not your thing. Most people that uh, don't like the Beatles uh, haven't heard anything by them or by the time they have, it was too late. I like the it's Beatles. too late. I like, here's the thing. It's I, for kids, I like the right? Beatles separately. They're all badass separately. Mm-hmm. Um, except for John. He was like completely like I think whipped, that, whipped by Yoko Ono. I don't know what the fuck. Like that, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but anyway, that's not. We're not gonna talk on that man's personal life. But McCartney, badass musician. Mm-hmm. Ringo, uh, no. one, I just want one. Drum maybe, solo. maybe a pot. Like oh, uh, uh, at the, in the end, uh, Abbey Road. He's yeah. He he keeps people like people yeah. are like he keeps time, but then there's like professional drum, and this is in me saying oh, so. Bernard don't get Purdy it. went in there and did like what it was a Hard Day's Night or mm-hmm. one of the earlier records. Bernard Purdy played all the drums on that. Right. right. So there are people the that studio. literally. I was talking to a friend, my friend of mine. He's in the Marine Band. Like he's in the mm-hmm. Marines and he plays drums in the Marines. I was like, yeah, Ringo Starr is like the shittiest drummer I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> god damn. Well, it's, and so there's a reason I, why he's not the only drummer in the All Star Band. Right. Right. Jo- George Harrison, love him. Yeah. To death. I Creative mean, guy, I, yeah. fantastic guy. My thing was like, they didn't even like each other. They were a concoction. They were forced to be together. Yeah. They didn't even like each other. So it's like, why do you expect me to like them? Well, and I, and then again, they did have some decent stuff. Don't get me wrong, but it was like some decent stuff. I mean, they had it. They had they, great they stuff. Change the face of culture. I get it, but at the same time, it's not too different from the whole One Direction premise where you put a group of guys together you feed them songs and then they come out and i will say that it's a different thing they got together on their own they they did songs but then when the machine stepped in it was like yeah there was there was more at stake at that point yeah yeah yeah. and and it was like it was just like me it was like I, i i get it and they they were a super group and they were very influential but it was just like i guess i can say they didn't really do much for me you Fair. Know? So I, that's all I can say. It's <laughs> so far funny as that. that he's like, I gotta go to the bathroom so bad. Yeah, the Beatles will suck. All right, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, it's, 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 it's painful. I'm about to piss me. All right.